Hi everyone, Chrissy here. Uh, this is a video that I wanted to film for a while now. Um, this is a, I guess, basically pregnancy video. This is based on a subchorionic hematoma that I had with my pregnancy with my son. My son is 10 months old now, so everything did turn out fine. Um, they are very scary. So I just wanted to share my story because when I did go through it and I looked it up online, I kind of freaked out and my pregnancy with my son um, was right after a really horrible miscarriage, missed miscarriage that I had. I'll leave that link down below. So I was walking on eggshells the entire time and just to wake up to something like that at week 10 was terrifying. So. Like I said, I had gone through a missed miscarriage um, that took months to resolve. So I finally was able to get pregnant again and I knew this time I was not going to go to the doctor right away. I just wanted to wait. I didn't want to go as early as I did for the first time for just my own personal reasons. So I waited. Um, I went in at week nine and took the pregnancy test because they make you take the test. And then uh, my appointment to have the ultrasound was the week after week 10. So the morning that um, I had to take the, I had, was going to go and get the first ultrasound, I was laying in bed and I just felt like a little bit of a gush all of a sudden and I didn't know what happened and I just felt like wet down there. So I ran to the bathroom um, and I had peed. I just thought maybe I peed myself. I didn't know what I did. So I, I peed and then I pulled my pants back up and I felt like the wet still all over. And I turn on the light and there is just blood, like scary amount of blood. So I freaked out right away and I woke up my husband um, and uh, he said, you know, just calm down. There's nothing we can do right this second. You know, let's call the doctor in a couple hours when they open um, but for now just do what everybody says you know what the book says online go ahead and put a pad on and just kind of see you know if it continues so I cleaned everything up and I put a pad on and I couldn't go back to sleep so I just kept like checking checking and really not much happened after that I waited two hours I called the doctor when I when um, they opened explain to them what happened and uh, right away what they do is they go ahead and put you on um, bed rest so they want you to not be standing for a long period of time um, no strenuous activity no sex or anything like that so they just said just sit down on the couch cool it continue to monitor your sanitary napkins and see if it gets worse please let us know otherwise we'll just see you at like 11 o'clock whatever time your appointment is so everything stayed the same I went in um, and we ended up getting an ultrasound and that's where they see the subchorionic uh, hematoma or subchorionic hemorrhage. Um, basically in the ultrasound you would see um, the sac um, th that the baby is sitting in and then off to the side in a specific area, not in any specific area, there will be like almost like another blacked out area. That blacked out area is almost like a blood bubble is what it is. So when everything was forming and you were getting pregnant and everything was coming together, somehow, you know how sometimes people have light bleeding or, you know, bleeding in the beginning of, of getting very early in the pregnancy, something like that might have just stayed inside you and it formed like a little, like a hematoma. So that's basically uh, what it is. Um, I just wanted to kind of just touch base, just a super quick video and just explain what it is. Um, I believe that obviously some of them can be serious. You know, I'm not a doctor or anything like that, but I think a lot of the time if you uh, do what the doctor tells you and, you know, go on to bed rest and no sexual activity and um, stay away from anything strenuous, then it can usually heal on its own. And that's what happened with mine. I think um, it was like two or three weeks later, they went and checked again, and then it had actually dissolved by itself. 
So that's it. That's just a quick little video I wanted to talk about subchorionic hematomas. And if you have any questions, you can leave them on the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one.